Mr. President, Madam Commissioner, in spite of past resolutions of this Parliament, as well as of the General Assembly of the United Nations, and contrary to basic moral and ethical considerations, the theocratic totalitarian regime in charge of Iran continues to subject its citizens, amongst other evils, also to the death penalty. Although it has to be said, executions by the dreaded and most barbaric method of stoning appear to be coming to an end, thankfully, and this is a step in the right direction, no doubt. Nevertheless, the fairness of many trials taking place in Iran leaves a lot to be desired, and in many cases, the standards of administration of justice are far from those expected in the 21st century. Additionally, persecutions on political and or theological grounds continue to occur commonly, and such practices are a further stigma of shame to the governing authorities in Tehran. Furthermore, the execution of juvenile offenders continues despite an international opposition outcry. With this new resolution today, it is very much hoped that the regime leaders of Iran will at last listen to reason and common sense and will proceed speedily to bring their country in line with the internationally accepted norms of rational behavior. The Iranian people deserve much better than to suffer the barbarism of blinkered political religious fanaticism imposed by severely short-sighted, grossly cruel leaders. The time for liberal change in Iran is much overdue. Let us hope that it occurs soon.